What's up everybody on YouTube? It's your boy Vidugo Vibes here coming at you again with another video. Today I'm going to be doing another H&M haul. You guys might be thinking why the hell does he always do these H&M hauls? There is kind of a reason behind that but you have to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat to know that. It is Vidugo Vibes. I'll leave it right here on the screen for you guys. If you guys really really want to know, go follow me on Snapchat and Instagram and you'll find out straight away. So I've got five pickups for you today guys. I've got a pair of denim, outerwear, also have like a vest tanky kind of thing and a few shirts and t-shirts. So let's get straight into it, man. All right, so start off with the first picker. I'm gonna start off with the vest singlet-esque kind of look. So it is this uh, basic black oversized long line tank. So this is from the divided line, the divided gray, which is more of like the grunge black-esque kind of look. Um, so start off with this one. It is your long line vest slash tank top. It's just black with a very, very light uh, fabric. You have the back seam going right down the middle, which is a kind of high-end look, which is actually really strange to see. Um, also have a lot of ribbing effect on the neckline and also on the sleeves. So this is long line and oversized. I did get it in an XL. <clears throat> I could have actually fit a large, but you know, every, every YouTuber says you don't want to walk around like skin tight looking like freaking Massive bruh. Make it look drapey and nice. So why not do it in this black basic tank top? Um, price $9.95, 10 bucks for this, can't complain. So it's the best for layering, especially in the winter. So that's that. Let's get on to the next one. To get on to the second pickup that I got, it is this olive elongated oversized black tee again from the divided gray line. <clears throat> so it is freaking long, like I'm standing pretty fine, you still can't see it's relatively long. I didn't realize I tried it on everything, I bought it, and I didn't realize until I got home it is pretty long. Um, but the color, the light doesn't do it color. I don't know if you guys can really tell, it looks more gray than freaking actually green slash olive. Uh, so at the back, you can see we have the curved seam right there going around and the center seam going straight down the middle. Um, ribbing on the actual uh, sleeves there, so it gives that rolled effect. Also on the collar. And also a quick other detail, we have like a wrangling cut sleeve there and on the other side. But it does have like drop shoulders as well. I did get this in an XL. I probably should have gone to a large, but it's gonna have to do. And also, another detail that they have, if I can freaking show you. Uh, you guys can also see at the back, it is elongated. It's like the flint, it's like the flintlock tee by Zane Rope, how the back is actually longer than the front. Uh, so there's that. What I'll probably do is I'll alter it so that this flap, there, if I can get this fucking flap, where is it? If I can get this front flap to be shorter, so, like it's really hard to explain, but when you see it, that this front flap will be shorter and make this back look longer, just so it doesn't look as long and look like a freaking dress. Um, so there's that, let's get on to the next one. So my next pickup is this black elongated button down, button up collared shirt from the divider gray line once again. Um, it is really, really elongated. Uh, you can try wear this, I'm gonna wear this on its own. I wouldn't wear anything like underneath because it's really, it's long enough already. So you could probably wear like an elongated cardigan or like this bomber or anything like that. So there's this, it is just your basic button up shirt, man. It's just got like this button at the back here. Um, collared shirt which looks flimsy but there's that um it's just a basic black button up shirt man but it's just elongated so um and i find when i wear it that it the like the bottoms go in a lot more so it like, almost crosses over it's just a really minor detail but it's really cool um size xl probably could have gone medium or a large but i decided to get that really really oversized baggy look so it is really wide as well you see it on the on portion so there's that, let's get on to the next one. All right, 
Alright, sticking with the black and grey theme, fucking hell Rob, you always just get black, why? Uh, so my next pickup is this pair of black washed denim from H&M, from their super skinny line. So, bang, there you have it. I'll get further back so you guys can have a look. This is the actual like taperage, it is relatively skinny. Um, I did size up on this, I'm usually a 34 and got a 36. Just so it's not as tight in the thighs as it already is because I did try on the 34 and it was way too tight. And the 36 is still tight but well, it will stretch over time um, due to the elastin in the material. Watch. It is really stretchy. So I would highly recommend sizing up. Um, details, it's just the button fly with the zip right there. Um, YKK zips, which is good. Nothing else much to say, it's just a basic black washed set of denim. But it is nice and tapered, look at that. But I'm going to get even more, just so I can make this part smaller. Right, I think it's about 5 inch, probably going to go to 4 inch or 3.5 inch. Just because it's stretchy, I mean guys, if you can find a stretchy set of denim, I would highly recommend even tapering it to a smaller, just so I know a lot of people, especially with represents first like denim collection, uh, the bottom was really skinny, a lot of people couldn't fit their feet through the actual like hole, but um, I would highly recommend with stretchy denim, definitely you can go smaller because it can stretch like shit. So there's that. There you guys have it. Um, I paid, actually, the, that olive elongated shirt, I think was $14.95 or $19.95, I can't quite remember. And this set of denim is $60, like, can't go wrong with $60 for a pair of denim. That is gonna last you a long time. Let's go on to the last piece, but it is definitely my favorite. So, so, I really wanted that beige denim jacket, the distressed one, from Represents um, Only the Strong Will Survive collection. I'm really saying represent this video a lot, why the fuck am I saying that? Anyways, I really wanted it, and I saw this, and I was like, I'm definitely going to get it, because it's, you know, I'm a tight ass and can't afford that shit right now, but I found this, which is the beige denim jacket from H&M, which I'm super, super happy about. Um, I don't know how much the Represent denim jacket retailed for, but this was 60 bucks, and pff, I am actually surprised I found this and got the right size. There was only a few left. Uh, I mean, there, I, can't, I can't really describe it, it's just your denim jacket, man. I mean, not much else to say about this one, only that it's beige denim jacket is I can't really say much like there's like the metal pant like the metal buttons right there it's collared it's got your pockets on both sides here and here um, nothing on the back it's just got like your cut and sew paneling on every single denim jacket but it's just this specific color that makes it stand out a lot more from your average denim jacket I'm probably going to distress this as well just because I like that look so much that I'm just going to try and mimic it unfortunately with the H&M one. Eventually I will buy that one because I really just like this color. But this will do. Um, I did get in a size large. The medium was uh, the better option. Um, I know from the Represent collection that this was oversized and the shoulders were, the drop shoulders, the uh, sleeves were baggy. So I thought I'd grab the large and see how I go and it does fit amazing like in terms of how you want to layer it. Um, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to wear this, I'm going to wear the clawed morse, which I'll actually show you on, on portion anyway. You can definitely wear a hoodie underneath this, and a shirt, and another shirt if you really wanted to. Um, so, there's that, 60 bucks, size large. So, thanks again for watching guys, really appreciate it. As I'm recording this, I was just, uh, I just finished recording the weekly outfit episode 2. So that will be uploaded after this one. And then the following video after that will be the giveaway announcement, so stay tuned for that. Not much else to say, just follow my Instagram and 
uh, Snapchat at Verdugo Vibes if you guys really want to know why the hell I picked up all this. So that is the end of the video, you guys. Thanks again for watching. I'm out. Peace.